skill I'm looking for is the skill to be driven, to be committed, to be the first one up in the morning and the last one to bed. I can teach you the rest. I don't have time for anybody who sleeps half the day and expects the world owes them a living because the world I come from, the school I come from, is a school of hard knocks. They gotta have heart and they gotta have drive because talent without drive is a waste. Ireland's superstar chef Conrad Gallagher had a major dilemma last time, whittling down his final 16 contestants to his chosen eight. Are you okay, Dave? As always, next time. Sure. Hurry her through. Who are now all on the serious journey of becoming Ireland's new head chef and winning 10,000 euros cash. Knowing they're in the last eight, our chefs look determined as they arrive at the Culinary College in Athlone's Institute of Technology for today's cook-off. To be in the last challenge last week was just, I was like, just how did I even get here, let alone get through to the final eight? So I'm back here, again, with my game face on, ready to win. I'd like to be a Michelin star chef one day, because I have so much drive to do this. You need, you know, what they call in rugby, the big match temperament. Definitely the nerves are kicking in now. A lot of really talented people. It'd be a dream to get up every day and say, yeah, I'm happy, 100% happy. But at the end of the day, it's a competition. Second prize is no good to me. I didn't know what to expect. You don't know what's going to happen. That's the excitement of it all. It feels special, I think, when you walk in and you see your whites there. And let's go, let's have this, get into the kitchen and get cooking. From now on, they are trainee head chefs. Today they've put on chef's whites, they've put on hats, aprons, shoes. And I think that brings another boost of energy to, to somebody, you know. So I, I think there's definitely a little bit of a change now. They're starting to change their attitude. It's the real deal. But at the end of the day, one of the eight has to be eliminated. I would imagine from today on, it's going to be a little bit dog eat dog. So I'm, I'm excited to see now who really gets their competitive hat on and say to themselves, I'm really going to win this. For the first time, the chefs have to cook a real three-course meal. As usual, Conrad offers his protégés a masterclass in every course. And downstairs in the challenge kitchen, they must match the award-winning chef with their own flair and skill. Good morning, everybody. Morning. You're welcome back. Thank you. And I guess congratulations for making it into the final eight. The first task today is we're going to make a beautiful pumpkin soup. Conrad's recipe for pumpkin soup, his first course, can also be adapted as a base for a wide range of soups like celery, cauliflower or potato. I'm going to get myself a nice sheet of tin foil. Okay. So I'm going to get a nice bit of olive oil and with my hands I'm going to massage the pumpkin, okay? A lovely bit of sea salt, okay? The full pumpkin is in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 45 to 50 minutes. Right, pan is on, a little bit of oil, okay? A little bit of onion, a wooden spoon. If I hear metal against metal, somebody is going to get a wooden spoon on the bottom. And what happens if you don't have seasoning? You don't cook. It's not cooking. You're just doing things. You're just adding things to a pot. A few little cloves of garlic, shallots. I'm now going to add a wee bit of butter. I now have some chopped rosemary and chopped thyme. And with the chicken stock. Once the pumpkin is cooked, the soft flesh needs to be separated from the tough skin. Conrad's aim is to take what is a very clear pumpkin colour and totally transform it in colour, texture and taste. And with my pumpkin. To do this, Conrad adds stock and cream and cooks for 20 minutes. So we're basically just going to bring that to the boil now. And in it goes. Alright, top back on. And then I'm going to start blending. Okay, so out of the blender, straight in like that. I can already tell that this is going to be a serious soup, kind of serious flavour to it. The next thing I'm going to do is do my scallops. What I just want to do is kind of crack it, break away the shell nice and easy like that, and just pop it in here, right? Now this is a beautiful, beautiful kit. I mean, this is like, this is like sexy, right? Like if I was to take that scallop out now, and have a little bit of lemon juice and black pepper, I mean, that for me would just be heaven. It's not only the soup that needs a light touch, the scallop with mushrooms and truffle requires keen frying skill to get right. I'm cooking one scallop with a row on. And one scallop without the row. Just like that. Okay, a wee bit of thyme. 
a wee bit of rosemary. And for me, that's a beautiful caramelization. Turn it like that. If you want it, then I just turn your stove off like that, right? And add a wee bit of butter, just like this. I'm just gonna put it sitting on top of the scallop and let it kind of melt around it. A little bit of truffle oil, not too much, all right? Nice little bit of Parmesan cheese. Who's watching? So, a few nice little mushrooms like that. Put my beautiful little scallop sitting right on top. So we lovely wee bit of rocket sitting on top there. The garnish, a wee bit of truffle, all right? So I'm just gonna blitz it up, just like that. I want really, really, I really, really want it nice and foamy. I'm just gonna pour the soup like that. All right. Okay. And a wee bit of truffle, the last minute. And one more little bit of Parmesan. And for me, that's one of the finest soups known to man. This is fine cooking, and only the finest cooks will survive. Please replicate as I've done it. Check the flavor, check the texture. Please have a look at the smoothness of the finish. Then please go downstairs. I'm looking forward to tasting yours. Yes, Chef. I've never cooked a soup like that in my life. When Conrad said it's the best soup in the world, he wasn't joking. Sort of 50-50 looking forward to the challenge and dreading the challenge because I don't want to overcook the scallops. I don't want to get my soup consistency and all my flavours into the soup as well. So it's going to be a difficult one, I think. I have never massaged a pumpkin or a vegetable before, to be honest. Um, it's an interesting new technique and it obviously works because the soup tasted fantastic. So. It, it works, so I will be massaging all my fruits and vegetables from now on. Okay guys, we're ready to go? Please guys, I don't mind people feeling today because they got the dish wrong, or they put in too much salt, or they burnt the scallop, but please don't feel because of nerves, okay? All you're doing is cooking food. Follow my instructions, please. Are you ready to go? Okay, you've got 50 minutes. Conrad knows that each chef now has to offer a brand new set of skills and at the end serve up a beautifully presented soup and scallop that is both a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. Please everybody be careful when you're chopping your onions. I don't want to see any fingers. Especially you, David. I cut myself last week and that was just, that was just silly. That was a simple mistake, I mean. Okay, over, just wash your hands quickly. I don't think it was nerves. It shook me a bit afterwards, you know, and then coming back in and trying to finish everything on time. However, this time, three more chefs make the same mistake. Sorry, I'll make it stop right away. Chef. You're welcome. Hi, boys. You done again? Okay. That's actually, a wee, that's actually quite bad. Oh, I'm just glad it wasn't me this time. <laughs> it was bound to happen to someone else eventually, right? You're done now to 40 minutes left. Pull up your pants, Philip. I can see the crack of your ass. Okay, Eugene, how are you feeling? I'll be happy once my pumpkin's cooked. Okay, is your oven up full blast now? It you is. feel it's not going to be ready? Um, Can't blame the oven, remember? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, I decided to cut my pumpkin in half because it was too big and the oven wasn't quick enough. And there's only 20 minutes left, so pressure pretty starting to build. And I'm not going to fail because my pumpkin isn't cooked. Jesse, once again, is a step ahead. The, the squash was fairly, fairly large, um, but I managed to cut mine in half and transfer it into the confection oven, which really, which really speeded things up for me. Um, I could see a couple of people got caught out with that. Jesse was the first guy to use his initiative and said to himself, I have a piece of pumpkin, it's going to take 30 minutes to cook, my oven's not working, shit, what am I going to do? Do not stand in front of me in 30 minutes time and tell me your pumpkin is raw. What will I do? I'm a customer sitting in the restaurant. I'm waiting on my goddamn soup for my pumpkin's raw. Make a goddamn plan. Although the confection oven is faster, with everybody opening and closing the door, the heat is escaping. Open and closing oven is just dropping in temperature, so just get that done, it should be okay. Determined young student Philip is confident he has what it takes to become Ireland's top chef. My passion for it is going to pull me through anything, like no matter how, much, how hard things are, I'll always keep on trying and trying and trying until I get it right. I think I have a very good chance of winning this. Eugenie is first out of the oven. Hey, 15 minutes to go guys, let me know if anybody needs help. I think you need to go with it. 
Despite being the eldest contestant, Eugenie only started working in a professional kitchen at the age of 36. I unfortunately never had the opportunity to go and do training or anything like that, but I did always have an interest. And then I ended up doing pot wash and um, six months later, I was literally, it was a baptism of fire and I became head chef and stayed for like two and a half years. Ten minutes left, guys. Not used to professional kitchen equipment, Dave is struggling with the food processor. I want a beautiful creamy velvety soup. Jesse comes to the rescue. Time for Conrad to taste the first course. Did you did you get the gun the, the second time? Yeah, they passed the toy chef. Yeah, finished with some parmesan. Okay, well done. Thank you. I was just cut up nice and moist on the inside. Mushrooms cooked nice, nice seasoning. Well done. Good job. Well done. You managed to get nice froth in your soup. Yes. How's the flavor? Very, very good. Thank you. How many times did you pass it? Twice. Your presentation is a little bit messy. Yes, chef. So quite sloppy. Scallops cook perfectly. Yes. Thank you, chef. Well done. Thank you, chef. <laughs> the soup looks very watery. What yeah, happened? it's much thinner than I liked. I think I should have added a bit more. It's freezing right cold as well. It's freezing cold. And your scallops get overcooked. Three pour, cold. Too thin, scallop overcooked. The scallop looks nice, those are mushrooms. Very nice. Perfectly cooked. Apart from being up late and you're sipping a bit thin, this is very good. How long, Mary? Although most of the contestants have finished in time, three still have to plate up. Come on guys, you're not 10 minutes behind. The kitchen can't be 10 minutes behind. I've got people waiting in the restaurant to taste the soup. The flavor is nice, but it's not hot enough. And you're missing some froth on top, okay? Scallops overcooked. Remember I talked about being washed in the middle? Yeah. Cooked all the way through. Disappointing performance. Emma, your flavor's good. It just doesn't have, the, it doesn't have the right texture. Yes, sir. It's cooked, cooked nicely. Cooked perfectly, actually. Thank you, sir. That's the best mushroom so far today and the best scallop so far today. Thank you, sir. Your soup is disappointing. Mary is last chef standing. Mushrooms are cooked nice. Cooked. Scallops nicely moist on the inside. Consistency is terrible. And it's lacking flavor. Okay. This has been good, but the soup's been disappointing. So you got to pull it together in the next next yeah. set, okay? Thank you. Go join, go join the others. Where's everybody else? Mary, one second, please. Harry, right, let's go. Conrad reflects on what happened with three of his star pupils and decides to call them back. Such behaviours in a professional kitchen could potentially spell disaster. Four people or five people managed to get the pump and cook perfectly in perfect soup and you guys haven't. I asked you ten times on the show, started, is your oven working? Is your oven working? Your sure it's working? Your sure it's working? I mean, is it my job to go in and check your oven and see if it's cooked? Oh, sure. See if your oven's working? Please, go. Please don't disappoint me again. I mean, this is not simple cooking. This is not, you know, mama, papa stewing potatoes. This is serious, serious cooking. So I'm glad and I hope every one of them are out there sulking. And I hope every one of them are beating themselves up. Because I'm going right back upstairs again to do another master class and it's going to even be more complex. Coming up. You've got to be wide awake in this business. You want to sleep? No, 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 no. The oven's not working. I think he upped it big time. There's no room for failure. Like, like if you fuck it up, you're gone. <laughs> 